Dr. Khalid Malik, the founder of Applied Linguistics Groups, has a PhD in Applied Linguistics TESOL and uploaded this video for BS English students. Having more than 25 research papers, he taught at many foreign universities and was admitted to a postdoctoral study program abroad. Join Applied Linguistics Group at youtube.com slash at 1966 Pakistani or use a QR code to join our Facebook group at Verb and Adverb Combination Collocation List of verb-adverb collocations with examples. Below is the list of verbs and adverbs collocations. Collocations are the two words that are habitually juxtaposed. Collocations can be of two adverbs, two verbs, verb and adverb, verb and adjective, an adverb and adjective, etc. Here are some collocations of adverb and verb. Fully appreciate. Deeply regret. Badly damaged. Seriously doubt. Greatly admire. Closely examine. Seriously think or consider. Firmly believe. Completely destroy. Fully recover. Fully understand. Distinctly remember. Strongly advise. Firmly reject. Thoroughly inspect. Freely admit. Strongly criticize. Completely forget. Badly need. Totally agree. Flatly refuse. Hotly deny. Thoroughly enjoy. Badly hurt injure. Rise steadily. Sincerely hope. Verb adverb collocations examples. Strongly advise. A person is strongly advised to maintain a calendar. Hotly deny. An insider yesterday said the man hotly denied any impropriety was taking place. Rise steadily. The average revenue per user rose steadily through the year to nearly 43 a month. Firmly believe. He firmly believes that he can do this. Strongly criticize. He strongly criticizes Imran Khan. Badly hurt Inja. He was badly hurt due to her rush talk. Closely examine. He was closely examining my project. Flatly refuse. He flatly refused to discuss the matter. Completely destroy. His habit will completely destroy his career. Totally agree. I totally agree with you. Completely forget. I am very sorry I completely forget your name. Distinctly remember. I distinctly remember it being your idea. Freely admit. I freely admit that I was wrong. Fully appreciate. I fully appreciate your effort in our project. Fully recover. I hope he will fully recover from the disorder after a month. Seriously doubt. I seriously doubt him. Sincerely hope. I seriously hope that would be beneficial. Seriously think or consider. I seriously think that would be beneficial. Greatly admire. I greatly admire the way she handled certain situations with Arthur. Deeply regret. It is with deep regret that he has to leave his office. Badly damaged. My car is badly damaged after the accident. Fully understand. No one could fully understand him. Thoroughly enjoy. Please have a seat and thoroughly enjoy. Badly need. Saba badly needed Tom. Thoroughly inspect. We made a thorough inspection. Firmly reject. We firmly reject these misconceived plans. One easy way to do this is to exchange nouns for verbs and adjectives for adverbs. Here is an example. Increase, noun. Increased, verb. Slight, adjective. 
slightly, adverb. Let's look at this technique in action. 1. Car sales showed a slight increase, adjective plus noun, between 2004 and 2006. 2. Sales of coffee increased slightly, verb plus adverb, between 2004 and 2006. Both of these sentences are saying exactly the same thing, but using different words to do it. If you can put both these structures, adjective plus n or v plus adverb, in one task one, you will really impress the examiner. Let's look at the grammar, especially SVO, in more detail. In the first sentence S equals car sales, V equals showed, and O equals a slight increase. In the second sentence, S equals sales of coffee, V equals increased, and O equals none. Let's look at four more example of this technique below. The domestic car market showed an impressive growth of 50% for three consecutive years from 2001 to 2003. The domestic car market grew impressively by 50% for three consecutive years from 2001 to 2003. The world population grew dramatically between 1950 and 2005. The world population experienced a dramatic growth between 1950 and 2005. The number of British households using their own shopping bags when shopping fell steadily between 1965 and 2005. There was a steady fall in the number of British households using their own shopping bags when shopping between 1965 and 2005. House prices climbed steeply during the first half of the year before falling sharply in August. There was a sharp climb in house prices during the first half of the year before a steep fall in August. Dr. Khalid Malik, the founder of Applied Linguistics Groups, has a PhD in Applied Linguistics TESOL and uploaded this video for BS English students. Having more than 25 research papers, he taught at many foreign universities and was admitted to a postdoctoral study program abroad. Join Applied Linguistics Group at youtube.com slash at 1966 Pakistani or use a QR code to join our Facebook group at